I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Funny, all those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Hmm. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Barbara was a child star for two years, until America grew out of it. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. I wonder if that comic was right about there being a key inside the music box near the basement.
My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Maybe I should go check out that music box down by the basement. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. Turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today, I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything.
Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while I still can. I know it's out there, somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. And Calvin. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day, even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. Appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left, or a month, or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. <laughs> 